Welcome back to the Nothing But Padlocks review series. I'm Tim Good, the technical director here. We're in the southwest of England in Portishead Marina. They've kindly let us um, use their marina to test some marine grade combination padlocks. Um, so about nine months ago, we took some combination padlocks, dipped them in salt water, hung them off a boat, and that boat was being used throughout the summer or uh, throughout those nine months. And we gave them a a good old test in a kind of saline environment. When we say marine grade, that's a fully um, non-corrosive padlock, so it's better than just a normal outdoors padlock. It's either got made of stainless steel or some other non-corrosive material. Um, a few years ago, there was only one marine grade combination padlock on the market, but now there's a few, so we thought we'd kind of put, compare them and put them through the tests. So the first one is the Abbas 180IB. That's been around for a while, and, and the lifeboats and, and RNLI use that. We sell quite a lot to them. Um, it's made of brass with a stainless shackle. You've then got the master lock, which is solid stainless, um, a solid stainless body, uh, stainless numbers, and stainless shackle. And then you've got the Squire, which is a plastic body with a stainless shackle. It does have a, um, a steel um, padlock underneath, so it isn't plastic body and that you could just smash off. So anyway, we'll start with the Abbas first. So brass body with stainless. Um, this hasn't been used for nine months. The numbers are a bit sticky, but they do turn. Okay. It is a bit stiff, which is to be expected for a padlock that hasn't been used for nine months, but it does appear to open. And if we spin the numbers, it does lock okay. Moving on to the master lock. The numbers are stiff, but again, it's to be expected. A lot of salty deposits around the bottom. And that does open. There doesn't seem to be any rust on it at all. The shackle is a little bit wobbly, but apart from that, it seems okay. And it does lock again. There is a little bit of rust on the actual stainless steel itself, but I don't think that's much to worry about. Finally, the Squire, that's the CP40. Um, no rust as such. The, there's a bit of salt residue on the numbers and they are very stiff align them. The numbers on the square are a little more difficult to align. Um, and then you have this button on the bottom. And that does seem to open fine. It was quite difficult to open earlier when I tested it. And yeah. And the problem is that the button can stick in sometimes, but Uh, okay. You see the others lock when you change the numbers, whereas this locks by pushing the button out. Now we'll give them all now a bit of a spray. This is PS88, which we sell on the website, um, which is designed specifically for padlocks. Um, spin the numbers. That makes it much more usable now. And this is something really you should be doing in this sort of environment anyway, pretty regularly. So the master lock seems to have freed up quite nicely. The squire also, that's seemed to have got rid of that, some of that salt. And that, those numbers are spinning fine. Again, the numbers are difficult to align, but that's fine. It does seem to lock well. Note that the Squire does have ball bearing locking. Um, so that means it's good security from pulling. Finally, the Abbas. Yeah, numbers moving freely. Again, that seems fine. So all in all, they've all fared fairly well, given that they've been out in this sort of an environment. Um, 
some are showing little signs of rusty deposits but over nine months especially being when dunked in salt water that's not much of a big deal um, and I would probably expect them to keep going in a normal in normal use where you're not specifically getting them soaked with salt water all the time you'd expect them to last quite a number of years a um, little bit concerning about the button on the squire but it does seem to work so I haven't got any specific reason not to buy that one um, the master lock is the most expensive because it's solid stainless you've then got the abbas with a brass and stainless combination and then you've got the squire with a plastic body which is the cheapest um, but all of them seem to have coped quite well um, so I won't recommend anyone specifically so you can make your choice based on what I've said but all of them after this amount of time have not seized up like a normal combination padlock would have done.